This video is presented by Canadian Gundam. $10 flat shipping costs from coast to Canadian coast. Please visit their website at canadiangundam.com. Hello guys, this is Danik from the Gunpla Network and today I will be reviewing the high grade G Bouncer. The G Bouncer made its debut back in 2011 in Gundam Age episode 18. It was one of the secondary suits, not piloted by the main protagonist but one of his friend Wolf and Echo. Let's start with the building process. Like I said multiple times, I am mostly a master grade builder. I don't build high grade that often. I will buy some from time to time of suit that I really like but I don't have access to since they are not done as a master grade yet and the G Bouncer is one of them. I just like the aesthetic of the suit out the white part and the, the, the green right here that really complement the whole suit and uh, I think it will look really cool with the beam saber like this. In terms of building process, every, everything went super well. I didn't have any fitting issue. Uh, and didn't have any issue with any part actually it was uh, not under gate it was properly gate not any issue with that and the building process was a joy i have nothing else to add about that i mean it was really perfect as a high grade experience that's what you were expecting nothing nothing too much of the ordinary it's pretty simple from start to finish and like i said no fitting issue no any issue at all so the building process it's perfect so when we talk about the overall look of the kit, like I said, I really like the whole white aspect of the suit. I think it looks really gorgeous. Give him a more classy look, maybe. Less of a Gundam suit and more like a... Well, it's a mobile suit, you know. It's, you, as you can see with the head, the head is coming from the Gundam universe right here. You almost got a V-fit on the head, but instead you got like these wolf ears, kind of. But I think the, the fact that the suit is all white make it really, really classy and I really like that. Um... I'm not a huge fan of the feet, uh, not the way they are made, but you know they are feet. <laughs> Nothing special about that. Uh, I like, I really like the shield, like the shield right there. It's it's super gorgeous. I think the green really complement the whole suit. And like I said earlier, with the beam, uh, the, the pinky beam lightsaber, it creates a kind of aesthetic that I really like. You don't see that kind of aesthetic too much in the Gundam universe. And when it's come by, you have to appreciate it. It's a classy suit. It looks great. Uh, it look good. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see like part of the inner frame coming out from the white. So yeah, that look good. When we talk about the jetpack, the backpack, it's pretty simple. You got uh, exhaust right there with propulsion. You got a, prop uh, a jet right here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty simple, but you know. Sometimes simple, it's right. Sometimes you don't go like too far in the design. You just keep it simple and it look great. And that's what happened right here with the G-Bouncer. It's a great evolution of the, I don't remember the first, the, the suit it was inspired of. It's a great evolution though, I really like it. And like I said, sometimes you keep it simple and it look great. And that's what happened right here with the G-Bouncer. Simple kit, great look. So I, th I think that's, that's the, the the right word right here. It's simple, but it looks great. And that's what you want sometimes. I think it will even look better in a diorama. I might work on something like down the line with it, but as is super gorgeous look. So let's talk about the, the stickers and decal for this kit. Not a lot. That's what I like. Not a lot of stickers. They are pretty simple to apply. It's mostly head stickers, you know, for the eyes right there, the camera right here and the camera at the back. Um, I'm not, you don't have more sticker than that. Like, oh yeah, it's true. You got sticker in the chest right here, as you can see. Give me a second. There you go. You got a sticker right here and right here to give the black background. You can see in the chest. And overall, you don't have a lot of sticker. That's what I like. I don't like my suit to be. I don't like my kids to have too much sticker. They are pain and they has to apply. And they don't. Most of the time, they don't look good. So thank you, Bandai, for that. I would have really liked to have maybe some sticker for, uh, I know I just said I don't like sticker, but like just one right here on the right shoulder, just to break that white a little bit. So I might add a personal sticker like or something 
that I brought from a third party to hide on that kit. But like just one right here, maybe a wolf head like the the holder suit had. But as it is, not too much thicker. That's what we like. That's what we want. In terms of panel lining, as you can see, you got a lot of options for panel lining. If you like panel lining, that's your kit. Uh, you can do a lot of panel lining. And I think that's the benefits from panel lining. It will break the white around. Like I said, I really like the white, but panel lining is always a good idea in that case. In terms of painting, paint that inner frame. I don't care which color you're going to use, but if you can paint that inner frame with gold metal, gold, silver, chrome, I don't care. It will look gorgeous. So if you if you are into customizing your suit, you should paint that inner frame that will really accentuate your suit and it will look better. As it is, it look good, but it can always look better. And that's a suit that's asking a bit for love. So let's talk about the articulation. We don't have any transformation gimmick with that suit, so that's something great. And the articulation are pretty simple. Uh, let's start with the knee right here. I'm gonna, yeah. So go there. So that's pretty great. Both knee doing that. Uh, the feet, mm, a little bit on the feet right there, and like that. So not bad at all. The arms. They are blocked by the backpack, but uh, as you can see, they can do a lot of movement right there. Not that much like that. I'm doing it with the shield though, so keep that in mind. But I think that's reasonable. The head, whoops. Okay, the head. Yeah, the head don't move that much. That's, that's because of the armor right there on the chest. As you can see, it blocked the head a little bit. But up, down, up, down, not bad. The other arm, same thing. And you got the backpack up there. So you can move the backpack quite a bit. Like that, like that. You can shut down these vents and you can open them up. I like to keep them open. In terms of accessories with that kit, you got a few. First of all, you got two beam sabers. Uh, they are regular beam sabers, nothing special about them. They are not blue, it's not like a shorter beam. Pretty regular stuff. You got this shield right there with the blade and the shield. If I can show you. There you go. Stay there. That blade right here. Doesn't look bad. Really liked it. Uh, I just prefer it on the shield. Like I said, uh, I think it's better on the shield. Break that white a little bit. And finally, you got that rifle. That really cool looking rifle, actually. I really liked it. It's pretty, it's, I think it's one of my first ri rifles from the Gundam University. It looks so good. And once again, this one will benefit from a bit of painting. Like I said, gun metal, any kind of metal you have, gonna look really great. Also, I will suggest to get an action base or just a base for that kit because I think the Jibansar look even better when it's in the Ariel's pose. As it is right now, it looks great, like I said, but I think it's looking even better when it's up in the air. So if you can, get that base in the end what to say about the g-bouncer except that it's a superb cool looking kit i didn't have any issue with the building process and for that i'm saying it's a beginner friendly kit you can give that to someone and make that person hook to gunpla in terms of design like i said earlier i really dig that white design the whole white you don't see that often in the gundam universe but here it's done right and that's what we like about it when it's done right a lot a lot of final line to be done on that kit that will make it even better in terms of sticker like you saw earlier only a few sticker the one in the camera and their eyes they are not that hard to apply and they look all right in terms of articulation nothing special you don't have any transforming gimmicks so you, it's a late 2000 kit so this is what you expect from a late 2000 kit it, it worked well and that's it in terms of accessories like i see you got the two beam sabers the beam saber and the shield and the rifle. The rifle look gorgeous. I will buy an action base if I for if I were you for that kit. Uh, I think the Jeep Bouncer look better when it's up in the air instead of sitting right there on the ground. And in terms of fun, I mean <laughs> that was a fun kit to build. I really like it and I think it looked powerful like it is in the anime. Here on the Gunpla Network, we like to grade our kit on a buy it, skip it, or wait for a sale scale. For the high grade Jeep Bouncer, it's a big buy. 
if you are a high grade collector and you don't have a Jeep on sale, you are missing on something. It will look gorgeous on your shelf and it will look gorgeous on the diorama. If you are a beginner and you are looking for a cool kit to build, it's one of them. You should get it. So that was Danik from the Gunplay Network. Big thanks to Canadian Gundam that are providing us with kit. They are the one that gave us that superb kit. If you are living in Canada, they are shipping from Canada, Canadian coast to Canadian coast with a $10 flat shipping rate. So it's a great deal for you. And it's always good to support a local business. So once again, thank you to CanadianGundam.com. So like I said, that was Danny from the Gunplay Network. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And for everything Gunplay related, stay connected to the Gunplay Network. Bye-bye.